guys, I know for some of you it might be difficult to work out, whether you have an injury on your legs or you have some back issues. No matter what, guys, though, it's important that we do exercise. So I'm going to show you a whole routine that you can do just from a chair. And believe me, you're still going to get a good workout. We're just going to start out kind of with some warming up. Your option is to lean back into the chair, or if you want to engage more of your core and your back allows, you can go ahead and sit it up right here. All right, we're going to have our arms up, and we're going to bring up our knee as we lift up, uh, pull down our arms. Looks like this. Just like that. So again, you can do it sitting upright, or you can lean it back. Keep your arm muscles nice and tight, and your stomach muscles nice and tight. Right there. So again, if you are injured, hurt ankle, your knee, you can make adjustments even to what I'm doing here. If you can't bend one of your legs, you can do it more with a straight leg. Okay, you just make it work for what you're, you've got going on. If you have a cast on your foot, great. You got a little extra weight to pick up. Keep coming, right there. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna punch forward. Move those arms fast. You can sit it up, or you can lean it back. Nice and fast. You go as fast as you can go. Don't worry. Right there, warming up those arms. Really keep your stomach nice and tight during this section. Good. Keep punching. All right, we're gonna switch it now to a spin. Spin those arms fast as you can. This gets those muscles all warmed up. Probably will get your heart pumping a little bit too. We wanna get our heart rate to increase and our breathing rate to increase. Now when you're doing the spin, don't bring your shoulders all the way up, okay? Keep your shoulders back and down leaning back or sitting upright. Keep coming. Good. Spin. Are you keeping your stomach nice and tight? Pull up and in on those muscles. Good. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna reach, reach. Reach, really feel that stretch down your side. All the way up. You got it. Beautiful day here in Colorado. A little cool, but it feels good when you're outside and you're moving. Down here by my feet, that's Mojo. He goes everywhere I go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, we're gonna reach our arms forward and back. Forward, back. Good, now if you're leaning back, right like that. Or up. Again, don't let your shoulders come up here, okay? Keep them down. Keep them down. Think of the muscles you're using. Good. All right, now we wanna go ahead and lean back, one leg straight out in front of you, and just lift it up from here. Stomach tight. Keep it in there. It's so important that we take care of our body God did an amazing thing when he created you. And he created you to move. You should be moving. And if we don't move it, we're gonna lose it. So use it or lose it, guys. Keep it moving, whatever it is that you can do. Good. A few more. Two, one. Switch legs, fold it out. We're using our quad and our hip flexor. Stomach tight. Up and down. 
Use this chance to also have good posture. Keep your shoulders back. So shoulders back, stomach tight. Is your neck hanging down? Or are you using it and keeping it upright? Good. Pull in. How are you doing on fueling your body? Are you eating the foods that God created? Eat what he created. He knows your body. He created your body. And then he made some food or fuel for your body. Eat what he created. All right, right here. Now all we're going to do, if you can see down here, is we're just picking up our toes and tapping the ground. This will work right here, your shin muscle. It's one of those exercises. It starts out easy. And then all of a sudden, you're like, not so easy anymore. But just tapping your toes, bringing them up as far as you can and tapping down. Hopefully you can see me with old mojo there. You can see the toe tapping. Good, couple more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now if you have some light weights, I'd like you to go ahead and get those. Nothing too heavy here, okay? Right here, arms are at our side, elbows bent. And we lift it up and down. As we lift up our elbows, we don't lift up our shoulders. Keep it down. Stomach's nice and tight. Right there. Good. If it gets to be too heavy, you can always do this without any weight. Or if you have too much weight, drop down to a little bit lighter. Remember, God loves you no matter what your size. If we have a you know, perfect model-looking body, it doesn't make a difference to God, right? He says, man looks at outward appearances, but I look at your heart. It's that heart he's working on, guys. But having the self-control and discipline to take care of your body, that's going to be more of a heart issue, and God cares about that. We don't want to be... Um, you know, thinking only about what feels good in the moment and we're eating whatever we want and we're not exercising because we don't feel like it. It goes beyond that. We need self-control and discipline to take care of our body properly. All right, now I want you to hold your hands so your, your knuckles are on your, your thighs, shoulders are back and down, and then bring it all the way up to your shoulders. We're gonna do these a little bit quick, but again, you take it at whatever pace works for you. So elbows are locked into your side, Shoulders back and knuckles touch all the way down to thighs and then up. Good. Be thankful you're able to do whatever it is you can do today. You don't do all these moves, you can only do a few. Be thankful you can do those moves. We are fortunate that we can exercise. It's not that we have to, and for us, we're fortunate, we're blessed because we can do something. Our body's still moving. A few more. Good. All right, we're going to turn our hands here at our sides, right up by our shoulders. Punch, punch. So as I punch out, my knuckle comes up, and then I bring it back. Right there. Now, if you're looking for more of a cardio, and you can do it, you can take it more like this a faster pace. Bring that elbow all the way back in. Well, what works for you, that's the big thing. Listen to your body. Getting a little sore is okay, but you don't want to have a lot of pain in your joints. If this is hurting in your joint, then make an adjustment. Good. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Weights down. <coughs> now I'm going to scoop my bottom to more the front part of the, the chair here. I'm going to put my hands on the back side. And I'm going to lean back and pull up. And lean back and pull up. Okay, now you have to keep your stomach nice and tight. Use those muscles. Okay, now if that's challenging enough, you just stay right here. But here's an option. I pick up one leg, 
and then the other. All the way. When I'm picking up my leg, I'm really trying to think about these muscles. Okay? Keep them coming. Be sure you're breathing. It's always good to breathe. Get that oxygen in. Keep coming. Good. Eight more. You can do this. Come on. Seven. Six. If it starts to hurt in your lower back, don't go back so far. Okay? All right. Now you can push your bottom back again. Again, leaning is okay. We want to put our arms out and put our feet nice and strong on the ground. And we're going side to side, just like this. Now, if you can pick your back up just a little bit on this, side to side. Arms out, but if it's not too much with your arms out, bring them in. But you can see I'm keeping my hips still. I'm using these core muscles here, okay? Right there, kind of picking up that rib cage and putting it over there, over there, there, there. That's it. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. We're now going to just slightly pick up this leg. So I'm lifting it up just a little bit and I'm going to extend it out and down. Out, down. So, okay, so I'm not putting all my weight, I'm using my muscle here to keep that knee elevated and extending it and then bringing it back. And think of using your quad and then your hamstring on the back. Quad, hamstring. Good. Out, back. Out, back. Keep it lifted if you can. Four more now. Four, three, stomach tight, two more. Okay, we're gonna switch legs. First, just pick it up, out, down. Out, down, out. So that toe just kind of touches the ground there. Good. Out and down. Keep shoulders back, keep breathing, stomach tight, and really working those leg muscles. Good. Out and back, out, back. Can you do four more? Four, three, two, one. Okay, let's pick up an exercise band. Now you can use one hand handle to make it a little bit easier, or you can go two, either way. Now what you'll do is you'll bring it behind your back. I'll stand up and show you for a second. Okay, that's, that's what it will look like. Bicep has to stay right by your ear, but don't drop your head to it. Up, up. So we're working our tricep. Now you can lean into your hand that's behind your back if you need to. Just keep your stomach tight. Good. Push it up. Now if that's too fast, up, down. Up, down. Or you might want to mix it up. Do some fast ones and then do some slower ones. Keep your body guessing. Keep that muscle guessing. Good. Four. Three, two, all right, I'm gonna switch sides now. Put in your opposite arm, other arm behind you, bicep by ear. I'm gonna start a little faster. Right there, up and down. As much as you can, keeping that elbow pointing straight up. Good. Come in, stomach tight. Now let's slow it down. Up, down, up, up. I'm really pulling in on my stomach muscles doing this too. 
Want to use those muscles. This is good. Up, down. All right, four more. Four, three, two, one. Okay, same exercise band. We're gonna put it down there on the arch of our foot. We lean back, our elbows stay at our side, and up and down, up and down. Just like this. Okay, a few more. How are you feeling, guys? Isn't it amazing how much you can do just sitting in a chair? So no excuses, okay? You can do it. You can always find something to do. If you're having shoulder surgery, like I did years and years ago from a ski accident, I was determined that when the, my shoulder was healed, my legs would be the strongest they'd ever been because I, I could do all the leg exercises even though I couldn't do my upper body. If you have a bad leg, say, okay, my, my core and my, my upper body is going to be stronger than ever. Do what you can do. That's the main thing. All right, so we did some great exercises today, guys. I'm so glad that you did this. Pass it along to anybody you know who's having a um, hard time and they can't do exercises standing up right now. Thanks, and most importantly, guys, go out today and share God's love and truth with somebody. Thank you.